Well, good day again. It's Jason Haynes here from QPL Rural uh, with Yain's report, the weekly rural property update. Well, the further we get into May, the more people are looking towards the skies, looking for that much-needed rainfall. I've been into some areas where they do have crop up at the moment and others that are still very much dry sowing. Rain or indeed water was certainly on people's mind last week at the Riverina Field Days at the water auctions. Some absolutely fantastic results out of there with some notable sales, including some general security Murrumbidgee water trading at $2,300 a megalitre, 52 megs of high security water trading at an absolutely massive $5,160 a megalitre, and some Zone 3 bore water trading at $2,475 a megalitre. It must be said these are absolutely exceptional results as producers look to secure water supply into the future, especially around those high reliability markets. In livestock markets this week, well, the Eastern Young Cattle Indicator dropped again this week to finish at 488.5 cents per kilo carcass weight, while the trade lamb indicator is sitting with no change at 617 cents per kilo. Once again, I will remind clients, though, there is some very strong lamb prices going forward, so do your budgets and see what it's going to take to get those stocks through, given the dwindling paddock feed. Now, in the property market this week, many of you will be aware by now that unfortunately our auction has been cancelled on the 11th hour for our properties out at Kaiwong. So unfortunately, this means that I have no result to report in this area, but it was encouraging to see, as you would expect, some very strong interest from our local croppers. Now, for our other rural properties this week, I want to head back down to the dairy space. This area certainly, yeah, the milk price is starting to sneak up again. There's certainly, the industry's gaining a bit of pace again. So there's good opportunity for somebody to step into these farms. Now, the other way of looking at it is, I spoke to one producer and he's seriously looking at stepping into the space, not as a dairy farm, but as a forage producing farm for his sheep and cattle operation. Now, as a livestock enterprise, he was potentially looking at spending almost a million dollars on feeding stock through the next few months. And he was looking to these forage producing farms as a short or a long term play as part of his business going forward. And as I said before, these are purpose built properties of large scale with good water and the ability to produce large volumes of forage either to use on site or cart away to your other properties. They're perfectly located, particularly for Western producers, as a finishing operation only three to four hours out of Melbourne. So a great finishing block to run your stock down to and have them run down into the Melbourne markets. And in the case of a property like Tikawara, well, it also comes complete with an 800 cow feed pad, absolutely perfect for holding those stock or indeed taking some trading stock opportunities as they arise. Now, these dairy properties have been well watered up. And indeed, I was out at Tikawara the other day and there must have been a foot of ryegrass over the whole farm. So there's feed available, ready to go would make a very good addition to your existing enterprise as a drought management strategy. Now, if you're afraid that might be a little bit big for you, I do have people waiting that are happy to put a management package in place and perhaps run part of the farm as a dairy operation, as a, a lease or a share farm operation, and be on hand, ready to manage the watering and the forage production on the other half of the property, ready to produce forage for your stock as they come in and out. Now, there are a number of options in this space at the moment, but you must admit a bit of geographical diversity with the ability to throw some water on when the time is right does make a difference to any grazing operation. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on any one of our properties we've got listed today, please feel free to give me a call at any time on 0488 594 450. We still have very, very high demand for some dry land cropping space, some breeding country and some irrigated pasture country or irrigated cropping indeed. So please, if you're thinking of selling, the demand is certainly still there and it's a good opportunity to list your property and capitalise on the current market. I look forward to catching up with everyone again next week. Cheers.